Hey guys, welcome back. We're playing more Loop Hero. Uh, we finished our first kind of official run last time and uh, unlocked a field kitchen. I think we've spent most of what we can. I don't think we have any more upgrades we can do. It says uh, show the build and improvement options. You can also press tab, I guess. It's showing that I can use... Okay, so this says available supply slots. Tools, max equipped items. Interesting. This is the same. Not sure what that means. Camps item slots. Plus one to something. Ring, maybe? Oh well. Uh, we're gonna jump back in and do another expedition. And uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, I see. Chapter 1. Class Warrior. Oh, there's different classes. Interesting. Uh, okay, so we can unlock new cards. Deck building menu. Whoa. So I currently have 11. I can turn on or off additional cards. Roots devour enemies that have less than 15% HP left. Can be placed adjacent to the road near other trees. <clears throat> Interesting. Chrono crystals. Refract not only the light of the rising sun, but the passage of dawn itself. Doubles the effect of a day's passing on the tiles around it. Interesting. So if I want to turn that on, I have to turn off something else. So I guess these have... I still don't understand what the circles on top mean. Okay, well, let's turn off the spiders, I guess, for now. And uh, we'll go with this deck quote. I imagine this gives you different... Maybe these drop different items that you might need to farm specifically. So, let's try that. I don't think I can change anything else for right now, so let's just go ahead and start. got some additional materials to place. There's a grove here. It reduces the max number of enemies spawn. I guess we can throw that somewhere. Uh, I think we want to use We could do that. 
give ourselves some additional max attack speed. <clears throat> Spawn the chest. Maybe we can try and get double chests? Is that how that works? I'm not sure. This uh, heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Um, I realized that with the rocks, you want to stack all the rocks together. I didn't realize that before because it gives you bonuses for adjacent rocks or mountains. So I think we want to keep all those in one spot. Mm. Nice. Okay, got some things to place. Put all the meadows together, I guess. Put another grove over here. Vampire Mansion. Uh, I guess I can throw this over here. I don't know what the Chrono Crystal really does, but... I'll put that there. Sure. <clears throat> Another Road Lantern. Got a vampire now. Okay, so let's toss a road lantern over here. Put a grove. And put the rocks over here. Get some bonus HP. Uh, this is better armor. That's all we need for right now. Nice, we got a much better shield. Plus five HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't really matter as long as they're all stuck together. Okay, we got our first blood grove. Be placed near adjacent roads. Roots devour enemies that have less than 15 HP percent left. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I guess it's gotta be like right here. Let's uh, stack these up. Um, I wonder if these chrono crystals affect things like meadows. Maybe I should be placing them there. Didn't think about that. Good to know. Place this down. Treasury. Oh, yeah, we want to use these. Uh, we'll put these here. Cemetery. Gotta be better, right? Uh, this is almost double the max HP. I think that's worth it. Uh, 
I need some like regen or something. There we go. Some vampirism. I think that's worth. Okay, we'll do the battlefield is spawns in a chest. Uh do that. And then we'll finish out some of this stuff. I definitely want more max HP here. Spawns a skeleton. Sure. Okay. Um, more defense or more vampirism. Let's do that one. Uh, rocks over here. Oh wow, very cool. Mountain Peak, plus 121 max HP, plus five max HP for every adjacent mountain rock tile. Spawns a harpy every two days. Oh, wow, okay. So I guess we'll just keep making mountains. Um, sure, keep stacking these up. I wonder if I can get like a giant meadow going or something. Um, do I want more vampire stuff? I don't know. I guess that would be if I was trying to go for some kind of vampire build. Nice, got a chest. This is lower damage and yeah. Not as good. Okay, we're getting some of our health back. More meadows. Blood grove. Let's put that there. these nearby. I wonder if that affects the meadows and stuff. What is this? Goblin camp. Appears for every 10 mountain rock tiles. Oh, I see. Wow. Okay, so if we stack too many of those, maybe we get in trouble, huh? We're getting kind of low. <clears throat> okay, that doesn't convert into like a meadow of some kind. I feel like I'm gonna die soon. Okay, this is way better armor. More defense. More attack speed is good. Ooh, straight up vampirism. Alright, let's go with that. Let's see if this solves my problem at all. The dying. This has a bunch of evasion. Let's see if this helps at all, though. Ooh. I think this is the first time I've seen a harpy. No! What do you mean, no? I'm gonna save the world? You wanna ask for help? Our answer is no! How did you... But why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been an emptiness instead of the sky, but it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. 
Each person sees their own way to save the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Ha! Joke's on you. Lots of people have joined me already. Oh, wow. Open-minded hero. Okay. All right. Okay, so she's just gonna make lots of babies. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I guess that sort of makes sense in their mind from a beast perspective. It's like all they want to do is just prolong their own progeny. Hmm. All right. Zero. I mean, it's true. Don't know whether or not he can actually accomplish his goal. <laughs> but we do know that I can kick your ass. Wow, hero with a conscience. I got respect. <clears throat> Alright, well. That is... That is something. All right, let's keep stacking more rocks. How did I turn that into a mountain? I don't even know. I feel like I need more vampires. Vampirism. Maybe not with a goblin though. <laughs> Beacon. Worthless landmark. 40% move speed within its range. 20% attack speed for all units. Maybe that's helpful? I don't know. I feel like more units is bad for me, right? More damage, but less vampirism. I'm up to 30% right now. I feel like I should maybe try and... Hmm. I'm awfully low. Whoa, these guys are strong. Why are they evading so much? Enemy level 4. Damage to all... This is less, but I get regen per second. That's a pretty decent amount of regen per second. Is that helpful? I feel like I should, like, go home. I'm so low. I'm, like, barely hanging on here. Slimes are easy, at least. Alright. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm about to heal for a bunch, right? Maybe it's okay? Let's see how this goes. Lower vampirism, but I get more regen per second and some defense. Maybe that's worth going up to two and doubling my regen. <laughs> These guys are messing me up, yo. Losing out on a bunch of vampirism. But uh, the damage is kind of huge. Alright. I think I have to retreat right here. I'm down to 42. Let's see what happens, alright? So I will lose some stuff. You consider returning to the cozy camp right now, while you're still alive and walking. If you retreat 
there from this far away, you'll have to drop some of your findings behind so the monsters don't catch you. It keeps 60% of the resources found. So maybe I need to wait on... Typically, I should consider retreating at the camp itself. I mean, I'm keeping 60%. That's pretty decent. Wow. All right. We're gone. The path was empty again, and there was only darkness everywhere I looked. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Talking about positive things. Let's go. Man, it should tidy up this place. Hey, look at that. I want to expand the camp. All sorts of skills. Nice. Cook to the alchemist. Can't build anything with local materials. Yeah, so that's where I come in. I've got a bunch of stuff. Those are just pebbles and splinters. How can you build anything with them? I realized when I saw your campfire, the things you find seem to spread stability to similar materials and things. It's only a little change, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden fence exist without constant oversight. Interesting. Well, lore-wise, it's certainly interesting. Uh, it looks like I'm still missing some... Whatever that is. Food? Hmm. Oh, maybe I can hover here. Food supply. Food found in the ruins of the new world. Unlike the rest of the world, hunger is still here. Noticeable change. This is enough to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly, a seed into a sprout. Interesting. Memory fragment. So I'm guessing that the different map tiles drop different things. Oh, this is like a delete. I don't want to dismantle. Okay, let's check our deck again. Does this show what it drops? Forty percent movement speed, twenty times attack speed, treasury is nice. <clears throat> It doesn't tell me what drops what. Maybe I need to pay attention. Right. Let's do one more round and see how things go. I'm gonna try and pay attention to what drops what. So it seems like slimes don't drop anything significant. They mostly drop map tiles. Uh, is this better? This is better. Okay, so we'll keep the meadow over here. Again, we'll do some like mountain ranges down here. Cemetery. All right, let's put cemetery down. So what did that just drop? Some preserved pebbles and some rations. Did I already have the rations? Okay. Place this here, this here, and a grove here. Okay, we heal a bit.
The shield, some more max HP. Okay, that gave us some branches. Uh, let's see what happens if we do this. The vampire drops. That doesn't seem much better. Defense, counter, invasion, vampirism. Nice. Meadow here. Battlefield once again spawns a chest. Each loop. Enemies on the tiles around it can become ghosts when they die. Okay, so for the cost of having ghosts, we get a chest. So ideally, I want to minimize the amount of enemies that interact with this. So I think these go on the corner, right? It's so about to heal. Nice, got a bunch of mountain tiles. We can start building that out here. Got a crystal. Does this add additional chests? Oh wow, the chest actually hurts me. Oh, because it's a mimic. Oh, but it drops good stuff. Okay. Nice. Level 4. And I hadn't, didn't even have a ring yet, so that's amazing. Where am I getting these things from? Attack speed... Shield... I like having more stats here. Oh, dope. Um, alright, let's start on a treasury here. I guess we'll put a vampire mansion. Here, two tiles, is that the least I can cover? Seems like it. Max HP there, that's pretty good. There we go. better. I like this. Problems. Uh, let's throw these here so we get some resources. Okay. So every loop, it seems like I'm gaining resources by passing through these tiles, but I don't really want to like... Yeah, every time I step on a tile, I gain resources. So it's not really about the enemies. The enemies give me gear, but... Let's see, this is all pretty okay. This is slightly better, right? I lose out on the evasion and vampirism. That seems fine. A little bit of AoE damage seems good. Keep working on this. Oh. 
beacon. Another treasury. Uh, sure, we'll put that here. Nice, got some mountains. We're still short on some rations. Where are we getting those from? Before I place anything down. Vampiric, vampire aura. All enemies that are not objects or artificial gain the vampirism effect 10%. Does that include me? I think so. Oh no, these are all enemies. Less pure damage. Uh, but we gain some attack speed. I think that's worth. This is, oh my gosh, so much more max HP. I think that's worth. Okay. Uh, this is more defense, more vampirism. I'm done with that. Keep our health up. I haven't seen any rations. We got a fragmented memory. Another fragmented memory. Interesting. Oh, a bunch. Okay, so my cards are getting overwritten. Which is fine, because I'm I'm just looking for ways to cycle. Mountain. Mountain. Uh, I just want to continue building these up. Grove? I can do a, another grove, I guess. Grove lanterns. These reduce the maximum number of spawned enemies. I think I want one, like, here. That seems good. And then one right here. Blood grove. Maybe I'll save that. Can I put that there? No, I guess not. Maybe? I can. Maybe that's good enough. Oh, this just seems quite good. Oh, I got a food. Where did I get the food from? I wasn't watching. Darn it. Got a bunch of food, actually. Do I get food whenever I place, like, a tile? Okay, I got a bunch of gear here. Okay, this is pretty good. More counter. Slightly less damage, but more regen per sec. Uh, this just has more bonus stats, but no vampirism. Uh, let's see. Cemetery. All right, symmetry summons skeletons. Um, maybe I'll throw that here. Keep working on this. Got food from something. I guess enemies are dropping stuff too. Beacon increases attack speed. I don't know if I really want more attack speed. Maybe some sticks.
More defense and more vampirism. Let's go. That's a strict upgrade. This has damage to all and vampirism. 18% evasion seems pretty good. What's my evasion at right now? Zero? Maybe I should stack more evasion. More defense. Yeah, that's worth. Right now, I'm not doing very much damage, so my vampire isn't really only healing me for like one. I just realized. I think I just got a bunch of stuff there. Awesome. So I think my goal should be to fill out these treasuries. Where am I at? I'm over here. Okay. I think next time we come around, we're going to try and finish up so I'm getting kind of low again okay I was healing for a bunch that time what if I should try like an invasion build that would be kind of interesting This is the same, but I get some more evasion. Let's 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 look at that instead. I'm kind of curious how that would work. I'm a little worried about this corner over here. Ooh, let's go. That's really good. Counter and Vampirism. I like that. Oh, this is, this is gonna be rough. I feel like I'm about to die. If I make it out of this, I should probably dip. Yeah, that's, that's tight. Yeah, I don't think I can make it through the rest of this. This is looking really intense. And I got a bunch of resources, so... Unless these all look insane. No, I don't think so. How much do I lose if I retreat now? Still 60%. I guess if I die, I only keep 30, I'm pretty sure. So it's still better to retreat now. All right, I think we should have enough to build some stuff. Wow, I'm still shy on a bunch of stuff. I still need another ration. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to figure some stuff out, but there's definitely things that I'm not optimizing. So, I think we'll call it for today. I just did two runs. I feel like there is a lot of depth to this game. Unfortunately, I didn't get to make any progress, so maybe... At the start of the next episode, I'll start where I can upgrade one of these. Maybe do one one or two runs off of off stream. So anyway, definitely a really interesting game. Uh, I feel like I'm slowly discovering more about it as I as I play. So uh, super interesting. I'm curious what the most optimal stat combination is. Right now, I'm trying to pay attention to a bunch of things as I play. Uh, just to make sure that I'm like, understanding what's actually happening. 
I still am not quite figuring out what drops what resource. It seems rather random to me if there is a specific pattern. I haven't caught on to it yet, but anyway. Cool. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys next time.